What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Warren. I am a banker here in London and a property investor across the north of the UK. My goal is to live free and independently from property. So I'm looking for an income of £3,000 per month from property. If that's what you're on, like and subscribe. That's what my channel is all about. So I got asked in a recent video of mine, what are the costs? Can you break down the costs of buying a regular buy to that property in the UK. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to go back to basics, guys. I'm going to break down what the costs are of buying the types of properties that I buy and put into my portfolio. They're going to be completely transparent, break it down for you, especially you who ask the question, and hopefully you guys will get a lot of value out of this video. So let's not waste any time and get straight into buy to let property costs of buying an investment property in the UK. So take a look on this side of the screen. Here is one I made earlier that breaks down all the buy to let property costs. And let's go line by line. So I tend to target terraced houses, two bed terraced houses at the moment, ones that haven't got damp, ideally. Inside joke for you, you've watched my other videos on my issues and my saga with damp. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> but I digress. I tend to look for two bed buy to let properties that are terrorists and freehold. Why? Because with freehold properties, you can add value. And I love doing that. I'm not just about letting out my buy to let property and enjoying the income from that. I'm about adding value and refurbing and releasing equity and all that good stuff. But I've made other videos on that, so check out my channel. So I tend to target buy to let properties that cost in the region of £110,000 in the north of England. You can see at the top of this graphic here, I've put Liverpool, because Liverpool is a property that I've bought in before and that I'm looking to go back to. Again, I sold it for various reasons, but I'm looking to get back into Liverpool. And the great thing about Liverpool, guys, is that it's had so much regeneration, so much development, so much investment, but properties are still cheap, relatively speaking, to other developed cities in the UK. So I'm a big fan of Liverpool. So two bed terrace, buy to that property costs around about £110,000. You can get one for £110,000 in Liverpool, okay? They're not rare. And then in terms of deposit, you're gonna to need to put down a deposit of 25%, which works out to 27,500. Stamp duty, so if you own a property already that you live in, and then you're purchasing a buy-to-let property, in addition, you're gonna pay the surcharge, additional stamp duty, which is 3% at this threshold, which is 3,300. If you don't own a property already, and the first ever property you're buying is a buy to let property, it's gonna be a lot less, okay? Legal fees, conveyancing fees, that costs around about 2,200. That is an average of all of the properties, all of these averages of all of the properties that I've bought over the last six years, okay? So 2,200 broker fees, 580. I always use a broker because they can get access to rates and products that you can't get, that you can't always get going to the lenders yourselves as an individual. So brokers, to me, are invaluable and I recommend them too. Insurance, so usually pay title insurance, um, a survey, um, all about, I mentioned damp at the beginning of this video. Um, we're talking about buy to let property costs. Um, damp is not the only issue, right, that you can get with a property, but you get a survey done, it's going to identify things like damp, things like structural issues, all of which are gonna cost you money later on down the line, okay, if you choose to go ahead with that property. You can still choose to go ahead of a, with a property that has issues that are found in a survey, but for me, the smart thing to do is to either avoid it, or if you're gonna still go ahead, knock it off of the purchase price and say like, this is what it's gonna to cost to fix, so I'm subtracting it from my offer, okay? And then license fees. So in more and more cities across the UK, you're now being charged a license fee to be a landlord, and that's all part of you know this country, this government regulating landlords, etc. It's becoming unavoidable in more and more cities across the UK. So total cash in, we've got here thirty-five thousand two hundred thirty-nine pounds. That is an average, okay? So if you're going to buy a property, it doesn't necessarily have to be Liverpool. It could be 
any city right across the UK, if you're going to buy a property for £110,000, you can expect the buy to let property costs in total, all in, to be round about £35,000. And I've said that in a lot of my videos. If you're going to buy a buy to let in the UK, expect to pay £35,000, okay? So that is a breakdown of the purchase costs, the buy to let property costs of purchasing a property in the UK. Let's look at operating costs, okay? So this is the day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month running of the property. So the costs of running it and also the income, i.e. Uh, rent, basically, that you're going to make from a buy to that property. So a mortgage at 5% on a 75% deposit on a purchase price of £110,000, it's going to be around about £343 per month. Why 5%? Because that's where roughly mortgage interest rates are for buy to let property products okay uh, repairs i budget 50 pounds a month buildings insurance 41 pounds a month and then a letting fee i like to give my properties over to lettings agents to manage 9.6 percent which works out to 72 pounds per month so altogether your monthly costs are going to be 465 pounds per month so we need a rental income of above this to be making profit each month and across the course of the year so in a city like liverpool for a two bed terraced house you can get on average around about 800 pounds and i've verified that by looking at open rent right move you know if your property is in good condition you can safely clear 800 pounds per month so that's going to give you a monthly profit of 335 pounds per month of a two bed terraced house at 110,000 pounds at today's interest rates in Liverpool. So in terms of return, your return on investment, ROI, so that's the return that you make on the 35,000 pounds or all in, all of the cash that you pull in in terms of your buy to property costs. Your income as a proportion of that is going to be 11.4% per year. So in 10 years, you'll make all of your money back. Your net profit on an annual basis will be four thousand pounds so that's your rent minus your costs over the course of the year four thousand pounds works out to a net yield of 3.7 percent so guys i said i'm going to keep it real basic and go back to fundamentals i would recommend when it comes to getting familiar with buy to let property costs take a screenshot of what's on the side of the screen now because this is gonna be really helpful to you when it comes to you doing your own buy to let property deals and trying to cost and forecast what it's gonna cost you all in in terms of your buy to let property costs. And guys, here's a free offer. If you're looking at a particular property in a particular area, send it to me. I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, or put it down in the comments below and I'll get in contact with you and share my email or my contact address. If you're looking at a property, send it to me and I'll do, I'll make content on it. I will pull it up on screen and I'll be like, so-and-so is looking at this property here. Here's the costs, here's the returns. Is it a good deal or not? And I'll react to that. I'll assess it. I'll use it as a case study and make content on it. So there's an offer to you guys. Guys, thanks as always. I appreciate you for supporting the channel. Like and subscribe. And please do, one thing I ask of you, send this video, send this channel to a friend who you think may benefit from it because that's how this channel grows. And I'll see you guys on the next one.